Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Vi and together with my husband, we are Vi Chalky Furniture. Today we're going to show you a um, kind of second part of uh, black, not, not black, dark to white uh, makeover. But this time we'll be doing this massive dining table and the six chairs. So we'll be using the same products as we did in the previous makeover when we were doing the uh, display cabinet but we'll be using a slightly different technique to to paint the table because it's a as you can see it's a, a big flat area that needs to be painted uh, totally flawless so we'll be using different technique please do subscribe uh, to our channel if you like the videos and uh, you can always follow us on facebook and instagram and we do have our own shop so you can pop in and have a look what's available and uh, most of all enjoy the video and i hope i'll see you in a bit first thing that we need to do is to take the leg off off of this table so this is uh, one of the parts it's upside down already and we will take the leg off just now Our first step before we do any painting is uh, washing. So we will wash the chairs and Oscar will be uh, spraying them with water after they, they're washed. Okay, on you go. As you can see, all the chairs and all the table pieces have been washed and there are sunbathing again, because we are very lucky. We've got really nice weather today. So next step, it's gonna be sanding. So we'll be doing 180 grit sanding paper. We are ready to prime, so this is the chair on this uh, very, very professional pedestal and uh, Lucas will be spray painting uh, primer with this gun and there we go. Okay guys, quick update. I hope you'll be able to see it. So halfway through painting chairs, we've noticed that actually primer that we're using is not doing a great job because it, uh, it, you can see the bleeding through. So we had to stop and we will switch to a different primer. I'm gonna show you which one in a, in a second. I just want to show you how the bleeding looks like. So we got ourselves a new primer. a thing this one and I hope this one is water-based primer so we'll see maybe it'll be doing better job okay keep watching guys I'll be with you in a second Okay guys, so I want to give you a quick look of two different primers and how they uh, react with the uh, 
paint, painted furniture. So this one is Craig and Rose, is all purpose undercoat, it's white and it should, should be acting as primer, but this is how it really works. So you can see that there's a lot of bleeding coming through and it doesn't really leave a nice texture. So we had to sand everything quite heavily to get the um, nice smooth finish. And I've used another primer. This is Ben. Oh, wait, I'm gonna show you with the name. This one is water-based primer and this is for the comparison. There's no yellow coming through at all. Obviously there, there are some, uh, this, not discoloration, but we just uh, didn't cover it too, too good. So it looks like there's something there, but it's not. And, and you can see it, uh, it does leave really nice smooth finish. So you, can, you, can, you really have to pay attention what products you use because uh, as you can see, the yellowing is coming through and it, this one should be working as a primer, but totally it's not working at all. When bin, I've used the, the red bin before and I wasn't really happy with it, but this one is really good. Water-based, so it's easy to clean and it gives really good coverage and really good finish. So bin, you are the best. Okay, primer is uh, dry now, so we'll be doing the first coat of our uh, paint uh, white on top of white. So I'm, uh, <laughs> I hope you'll be able to see something. Okay, so we painted the chairs uh, with our white color and now we'll be doing some gold accents using a gold gilding wax. So I've got a small brush for details and a little bit bigger brush and I've got my finger. So, uh, so we'll be doing the chairs and next uh, step we'll be doing the details on the table. Okay guys, so we are ready for the next step and uh, because they're chairs, uh, we want to put some extra protection on them. So we'll be using a uh, matte uh, varnish just to give a little bit more protection on the chairs because they're high use items.
moment we are done what do you guys think do you think it looks better or it was looking better before let us know in the comments uh, i hope you did enjoy our video if you did please do subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up uh, also pop into our facebook and instagram page and you can always pop into our shop and see what's available in store and thank you very much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye bye